Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Wow, okay. Or better said, about that small rock in our solar system pretending to be a planet. Pluto. Not this one. That's a dog. Princess Carrots, come on. The dwarf planet Pluto. So, Pluto was discovered in 1930, and it was considered the ninth planet in our solar system for years and years, until 2006, when NASA said, but wait a minute, Pluto does not fulfill the conditions to be called a planet, and they kicked it out of their planet group. So, if you went to school before 2006, you'd probably still think that there are nine planets in our solar system, but nope, there are only eight. So, what are these test scores that Pluto didn't get? Well, let's see. It orbits the sun. Check. It's round. Another check. It clears its orbit. Nope. This means that the planet's gravity has to be strong enough to push other objects out of its path around the sun. Pluto doesn't do this well, because there are many other objects in its neighborhood, which is called the Kuiper Belt, a space similar to the asteroid belt that contains space objects like icy rocks and comets, and other dwarf planets. Because yes, Pluto is not alone in there. Other famous dwarf planets are Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. Because Pluto fails this last part, it's classified as a dwarf planet instead of a full planet, even being orbited by five known moons. Indeed, it has moons and still not a planet. However, there has been some debate and some scientists and space fans argue that Pluto should still be considered a planet. NASA missions like New Horizons in 2015 reignited love for Pluto, showing it's way more complex than we thought, with mountains, glaciers, and even a possible subsurface ocean. But as of now, Pluto is officially a dwarf planet, not one of the eight main planets. Could you imagine getting fired from the solar system? You know what? Here's, first of all, wow. All right, I can't even.